welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kylie and I'm so happy that you are here. I am so excited for today's video. So if you have been watching my channel for a while, you would have seen that last year around this time, I uploaded my vinyl collection slash tour 2019 and that video did so well on my channel like it's still continuously getting views and my setup and the amount of vinyls that I have has changed so much so I thought it'd be really fun to film uh, updated vinyl collection for you guys because literally I have changed my entire setup so that being said let's get right into the video I'm so excited so first before we get into the actual vinyl collection I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit more about my setup because it's com because it has completely changed so as you can see behind me I have I spent so many hours doing this it's honestly embarrassing but here is my album wall that is above my uh, record player stand so I went into Photoshop, I made all of these. So it has the album cover up here in a square, and then we have the album title, the year it came out, and then all the songs that are on the album. So I made that for all my favorite albums, and then I sent them to Walgreens and had them printed as photos, um, four by six photos, and then I hung them all up on my wall according to color. So you can see it's kind of a little bit of a gradient. And then if we look down here, this is my actual vinyl record stand with the record player on top. So here is my actual record player. It is the Audio-Technica LP60. I read a comment on my uh, vinyl collection video that I uploaded last year and someone told me about how bad Crosley cruisers are for records like they can actually ruin the grooves and scratch them and I was like that is not good and then uh, it was starting to the table would kind of wobble a little bit so the record would sound warped so I was like you know what I've had this one for five years honestly so I thought it was time for a new one so I invested <laughs> a little bit um, into this one and I love it so much it has this actual dust cover, so I can bring it up, put the record on, obviously, and then it closes, and it has automatic start and stop, and then this button um, lifts the needle to kind of essentially pause it uh, where it is, and this, so it does um, the regular 33 inches and also plays 45s, and then I just change the size on here, and I can actually start and stop it with this closed. And I really like it because then I obviously don't have to worry about dust on my very expensive records. So that is my record player. And then this doesn't have built-in speakers because that's normal <laughs> for a record player. So I bought these ones. So it has these two on top, but then also has this subwoofer on the bottom. And then this is the control for it so I can turn it on and off. And then the volume control is right here. And honestly, my audio quality is so much better. I can actually hear bass when I'm trying to listen to records. Um, and I really just love this entire setup. So I will link everything um, that I have for my setup in the description box below if you're curious or if you're looking for a new record player. I highly recommend this one, um, especially if you're just kind of getting started out. And then these speakers were not too expensive. I know there are a lot that can be more expensive, so I will link that down below. And then, I pride and joy, <laughs> here is my record stand. I made a video on my channel of me turning this, it was dark wood, it was old, my mom found it on the curb for free, and I turned it into this, my record player stand. I painted it white, um, I put this vinyl on top so that it's kind of like glass-ish looking and I painted these records on the side and everything so this is my record player and then inside we have the records so if you have not seen the video go watch it because that is how I made this but now we are gonna get into the part that I'm sure you guys are all waiting for <laughs> hi so I just filmed this entire portion of the video showing you all my records and um, watched it back and you couldn't see me so 
Second time's a charm. Let's get right into it. So in here, obviously we have the records. Um, I have them organized just a little bit. These ones are brand new ones that I bought from like places like Barnes and Noble or Amazon, just not used records. And then these ones are more used, ones that I found from like thrift stores or vinyl record shops, things like that. So starting off, I'm gonna show you guys the new ones first because they're new. <laughs> Dark Side of the Mood by Pink Floyd. Um, I love this album, it is so great. Uh, in my last video, if you watched it, you would have seen me pull out my other Dark Side of the Moon vinyl that I had and realized that it was missing and I had no idea where it was. Turns out my brother stole it from me and he will not give it back. So I gave him the old one and I bought my own, which honestly is fine because it's brand new. And this one opens up, so it has um, this design in here, it has all these songs and the lyrics in there, uh, which is really cool. This is the back, it's just an upside down version. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys my favorite song or songs from each album uh, at the end. So I think Time is one of my favorites on this one and Us and Them. So. Next, we have the Wallows Spring EP. I love Wallows. Honestly, I want to see them in concert really bad. But this is their first EP that they put out, obviously. And on the back, it just has the song titles on here. But wait until you see what the record itself looks like. Like, guys, this is so cool. What? Look at it. Oh my god. It is so cool. I know I watched a video on how they made these, and they're like handmade for each one. So every single one looks different, which I think is so cool. Uh, but that is what it looks like. My favorite songs off this EP are These Days and It's Only Right. I love those songs. Well, I love all of these songs. That was a really hard decision. Next, we have Queen's Greatest Hits. Pan got this for me. I know you're watching Pan. Hello, what's up? Uh, but this has uh, two records in it, so it opens up. And we have all these beautiful pictures of the band and some album covers in here. And then the back um, is just pictures of the band and the song titles in here. So I would say my favorite songs from Queen's Greatest Hits, this is so hard, Killer Queen and Somebody to Love. Greatest ones on here. Next, we have Nick Jonas's Last Year Was Complicated. My friend Maddie got this for me for my 17th birthday. So thank you, Maddie. Um, this has all the songs on the back with the broken glass, uh, just like on the front. And it opens up to a picture of Nick Jonas and a burning bed. Um, so this, I know all these songs, so this is gonna be hard, but I would say my favorite ones are probably Good Girls and Champagne Problems. Next, we have Journey's Greatest Hits. Uh, this one is great on the inside. It's pretty much the same as the Queen one. It has um, some album covers on there as well as pictures of the band. And the back has the song titles on it. This one has so many songs because it's obviously Journey's Greatest Hits. So there's going to be a lot of them. Uh, this one has two records in it, by the way. And my favorite songs, probably the Separate Ways. No, there's too many, I don't know. Well, obviously Faithfully, because it's literally tattooed on my arm. So that's one of them, and then Separate Ways. Next, we have Michael Bublé's Christmas. I love Christmas vinyls. There's like, I have like three of them, but there's just something about when it's snowing outside and you just put on a nice vinyl, listen to some Christmas music, and you're just drinking tea, you're all cozy. I just love that vibe. So here's the back. It is him aggressively throwing a present at me. Um, I don't know why, but here is the track titles. My favorite songs from this one, Christmas, Baby Please Come Home. I love that one. And Cold December Night. How about that? Sure. So I'm kind of upset because the ne these next three, I waited to film to open them and you couldn't see me in that take. So I just opened these. But we have the division bell here. This is like, like a girthy album. But uh, here is the front. The back is just the same, but upside down. And then here are the pictures on the inside. 
they just really went all in on this design but honestly it's cool so I don't blame them this one has two vinyl or two records in it and the back side of these have the tracks so I really love the song what do you want from me and on this one coming back to life my two favorites from the division bell but I know all of them and then the next one oh my gosh we have Hoysier that is how I say it and so this is the front this is the back it just has the song titles and then the inside is this pretty picture of a sunset this is another one that I just opened so I have not listened to this one yet I was waiting for this video um, and then the inside has like the lyrics to all the songs in there um, this one's two records my favorites from this album are probably um, Jackie and Wilson. I love that song so much. And Work Song. Sure, why not? I love that song anyway, so it's hard to choose for a lot of these. Uh, this one, oh my god, I'm so excited, you guys. Look, Baby Driver soundtrack. I'm so excited to listen to this one because I just feel like these songs are going to sound so much better on vinyl because they're older songs. So I'm really excited and looking forward to that. But here's the back, it has all the tracks on it. Um, it's a two record one as well. This one opens up to a picture of a gun um, and instead of a bullet, it's a car. So cool. <laughs> we love graphic design. <laughs> but looking at the songs, this is so hard. B-A-B-Y, baby, I love that song. Radar Love, love that song. And then Bell Bottoms is just, that song is just such chaos, but honestly I'm here for it, so we love it. Last of the new ones, we have When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go? This album is so great. I love all the songs. I know all the songs. Um, the back just has the very minimalistic Billy um, style song tracks. And then wait until you see what you get, what this one looks like, you guys. Look. It's so cool. I love it because this is such a dark album and then the vinyl is just freaking bright orange, but awesome. My favorite songs, Zanny and I Love You are my favorite songs from this album. So we're into the used section, but honestly, they're no different from the new ones because I love them all to death. So here we have The Wall. This one is well loved, well used because uh, I listen to it so much, but the inside has images from the wall movie. Uh, don't recommend watching it. It's scary. <laughs> and this one has two records as well. My favorite songs on this album are Run Like Hell and The Thin Ice are my favorite songs from this album. I love all of them, except Vera. If you like Vera, I'm coming for you. <laughs> it just the whole song is him just going yeah. so yeah <laughs> you know i'm not wrong next one we have purple rain by prince one of my favorite albums of all time i love this album all the songs are great i don't know how i'm going to choose a favorite one but back front prince on his bike okay and my favorite songs from this album <laughs> oh god um Purple Rain, obviously. Like, obviously. Take Me With You. Good ones. Okay, um, I don't listen to this one at all, but we have Bach. We got some Bach in here. Bach, Bach. Um, I got it for literally a dollar at a thrift store. And then next we have the Breakfast Club soundtrack. Also don't listen to this one very often, um, but I bought it because I like I just wanted to have it because I like the cover. Next we have Men at Work, Business as Usual. This is such a good album. Um, I love it so much. And we've got the back with the band on it. It's just one um, record. My favorite songs are probably Who Can It Be Now? Um, I'm going to insert the clip from my last video that I did during this because honestly I think about it all the time and I cannot live that down. So here you go. That funky saxophone. <laughs> And then Down Under, of course. We love that song. Um, I hope you enjoyed that clip of me <laughs> a year ago. So here we have the best of six. This is what the front looks like. The back is the same, just without the hand. And these are just great stick songs. I love them. 
my favorite song from this album is Lady. So there we are. Moving on. Next we have the Cars album. Um, love this album so much. It is just one record. The back has the band on it. And I would say my favorite songs from this album are gonna be Bye Bye Love and Moving in Stereo. Those are just such both good songs. So I don't know if what I just said was English, but it doesn't matter. So next we have Foreigners 4 album. This is another cool thrift shop find. I love it. And the back here just looks like this. We have the songs on it. My favorite ones for this album are gonna be Jukebox Hero for sure and Urgent. This is one of my first vinyls I ever bought. Uh, it is the Eagles Greatest Hits. This is what the back looks like. The font is kind of hard to read, but I will read it for you guys. Um, Take It Easy is one of my favorite songs on here and Take It to the Limit is also a really good one. Another Christmas album. This one is just like a compilation kind of, <laughs> compilation, mixtape, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, it's all kind of like older singers who recorded these songs. So this one has like an old Christmas kind of feel, which again, vibes, we love it. So I love those ones. My favorite songs, um, I'll Be Home for Christmas, I guess, and It's Beginning to Look a Lot Like Christmas. Those are classics. I love them. Next up, hi dad, if you're watching this, we have ZZ Top's Afterburner album. I listen to this album every day. I put this album on my record player when I wake up in the morning and I listen to it and then I put it on before I go to bed. Dad. And I just revel in the amazingness that is ZZ Top daily. So there you go. <laughs> no, but all in all seriousness, um, this is a great album. I love ZZ Top. He is a little scandalous sometimes, but um, favorite song on this one, Can't Stop Rockin'. So there you go. Moving along, we're doing pretty good. Next up, we have the Grease soundtrack. We have uh, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John gracing us on the cover. Here is the back, uh, just a picture of the cast and the song names up here. Inside is just pictures of, from the movie, which are really cool. I love them. And oh, my favorite songs from this whole entire soundtrack have to be Sandy when John Travolta is singing that song in the drive-in. I love that one. And then what's the ones that she sings? Hopelessly Devoted to You. Love that song. It's literally so good. Olivia Newton-John is just... She has such a good voice. Um, moving on, we have more Christmas songs, but this one is just all Bing Crosby. So he signed it. I, I Not really, I, I didn't meet him or anything, but his signature is on it. Um, favorite songs from this one, here's the back. It's just the song titles. Um, we have to say White Christmas. He just sings that so good, um, so well, my bad. And then Melly Klikimaka such a good song. Reminds me of uh, Christmas Vacation, so love that song. Here we have Glass Houses by Billy Joel. Love this album cover. Like the album art on this, I don't know why. I just think it's so cool. I could frame it and put it up, honestly, but it, it's up there. So I love this one. Here he is in the back with just some broken glass, so somebody broke it and uh, I don't know who, but my favorite songs from this album probably you may be right, and it's still rock and roll to me. Of course, those are the songs that everyone knows, but they're just, they're classics, gotta love them. Next, we have Chicago. I love this album art as well. Like, Chicago just went off when they made this, but it looks so cool. Um, back is just the same, and then the inside is a picture of them and the song titles. Is this not the most 70s picture you've ever seen in your life? Tell me it's not. Just, yeah, it definitely is. Here we have Jesus Christ Superstar. In my last video, I said that this is the soundtrack from the movie and it's 100% not. I just completely lied to you guys. And um, I also spent a lot of time trying to find a certain song to say my favorite one. And it's called The Temple. 
okay? It's not that hard. <laughs> I just couldn't find it. And I don't really listen to this one because I thought that it was from the movie and then it's not. So that's my story about Jesus Christ Superstar. Asia's self-titled album right here. I love this. Here's what the back looks like. Um, this one just is one record in here. And if I pick a favorite song, um, Only Time Will Tell. I love that song right now. I don't know what it is, but it's great. Here's another one I don't listen to because, again, it is not from the movie. You would think from the cover that it was from West Side Story, the movie, but it's just um, some instrumental instrumentals. So I cannot sing along to my favorite songs. And so I don't listen to it, but I have it. So I thought I'd show you guys. Here's the back. Um, Tonight is my favorite song from the movie. So just so you know, last one guys, we made it. We have the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack. This is such a cool album. I love the art on it and also what the actual record looks like is so cool. I love it. Um, I don't know if I own a cooler album than this, so it's cool. Um, my favorite song from this album, The Time Warp is a classic. What, who even are you if you don't say that you like The Time Warp? Um, so there you guys have it. That is my vinyl collection for 2020 this year. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it for you guys. I love going through my vinyls and just looking at them. So if you guys did like this video, please, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, please subscribe down below. I actually hit 150 subscribers today. So that is literally so cool. And I'm so glad that my channel is growing like it is. Um, and I just can't wait to see what happens in the future. So that being said, that's it for this video. And I will see you guys next Monday for my new one. Bye.